Okay, we go moving into the second step that is curating the samples. We've already collected the samples here from the field. We have pressed them here. They're not dry yet, but at least that's the way they look like. Every three, four days, you need to change this one to the new sheet. And then put some heavy weight on that if you don't have a desktop plant press so that all those samples get pressed and the moisture gets absorbed by the newspaper and the plant sample will dry out that way without heating it. So between the two sheets of these newspapers, put a layer of cardboard, then a sheet, another cardboard, so that you'll have one layer of newspaper, another layer of cardboard, newspaper and cardboard, that way there'll be enough aeration for uh, the samples to dry out. This is another example of a cardboard sheet containing the corrugated sort of uh, uh, the surfaces and through which the air can pass through, pulling out all the, the moisture collected from the samples. So the, the air can pass through those the, uh, spaces and then the sample gets dry and there won't be any room for the fungus to grow on those moist samples. All right, so now that we have the samples already collected, dried, we need to transfer them in, onto a A3 size white paper. And uh, this is the A3 size white paper. You will learn the details when you come back to the, come to the residential school, but at least you should be aware of what is expected of those samples. So once those samples are dry, you need to transfer them onto the A3 size. Yeah. So this is the A3 size white paper, preferably acid-free paper, reflex paper, usually acid-free. And then you need to transfer those samples after drying onto this, so that will be the record of your collection, and that will be kept for hundreds of years. So these samples, the one we collected, they're not dry yet. What I've done is I've got a dried sample here. Assume that your sample is already dried out. This is the sample that we have collected. And you need to place that one on the white paper. And uh, so you, this is your label here. And then stick it to this paper using the sticky tape. And uh, there are special tapes are used. Different herbaria use different techniques. And for example, Queensland herbarium uses this tape, whereas the Sydney herbarium, they tie those samples using a thread. And some herbaria, they use the glue. And uh, so we will follow the procedures that are being practiced at Queensland herbarium. What we do is we use a tape. And now I use the transparent one. It's a translucent tape. Shouldn't be too wide. Shouldn't be too long. Just stick it there. And one, uh, maybe two to three places. You stick the sample two to three places. One here, the bottom. And one maybe at in the middle and one at the top so now the sample is very nicely secured onto this the white paper the best way to test that is to hold this sheet and try to shake it if it comes off, then it's not a good sort of mounting. Otherwise, this is perfectly fine. So now your sample is ready. But this sample doesn't have any information except your initials and the number. So you need to stick this sheet, which has got quite a lot of information. That's the information you collected from the field. And that should go to the 
right hand corner of that sheet. You can use the glue to stick that sheet. So you got the label. You need to complete that label. You can find that on our Moodle site. The details and also I'll explain what those details mean. At this moment you need to collect the samples and describe in your notebook. When you come back to the, uh, the uh, residential school I'll explain how to enter that information. So that completes curate, curating samples. So you have brought the, the wet sample that's been dried. You have transferred that onto the white paper such a way that it is sticking to the, the paper and also you've got the label and then you need to do two more things. You need to draw the floral diagram. You also write down the identification steps that complete your sample preparation.